All right, this video goes over a way of identifying linear equations that have no solutions. There'll be a link at the end of this video for another way. So starting from the top, we do need to clean up this equation. In other words, we're going to simplify. We're going to do distributive property first. So we still have the 6 plus there, 5 times 3x, 15x. 5 times 4 plus 20. And then the right hand side already cleaned up 15x plus 6. Now over here we still need to add like terms. So we're going to have the 15x and then 6 plus 20 makes a plus 26. So notice the coefficients, the 15 and the 15 are the same, but the constants 26 and 6 are different. Therefore, we have no solutions. Next one, we're going to add like terms here and distribute over here. 8x minus 6x makes 2x, and then we have the plus 6 there. 2 times x, 2x. 2 times 3 makes a plus 6. Now, here we have equivalent expressions on both sides of the equal sign. That's going to be infinite solutions, not no solutions. Next one, distributive property here. Add like terms over here. 5 times 6x is 30x. 5 times negative 4 is a minus 20. Now, here we have 5x plus 6x is 11x and minus 20 there. Notice the coefficients are different. Therefore, it's going to have one solution, not no solutions. Last one. We got the 5x minus 4, and then we need to add like terms. So we're going to have the 2x plus 3x makes 5x, and then the 3 minus the 8 makes a minus 5. So here, like the first one, the coefficients, 5 and 5, are the same, and the constants, negative 4 and negative 5, are different. Therefore, no solutions. Check out these videos that also talk about identifying linear equations that have no solutions or infinite solutions.